You could see that orange glow and even some foggy tendrils there in the little valleys there after the rain moved through. And you wouldn't know it by looking at the sunset, but we've got a frost advisory on the way for some of us tonight, especially Adirondack Park, parts of central, northern, and northeastern Vermont because temperatures fall into the 30s overnight. It's all because of this cold front we've got coming, and you can see this northerly flow sinking down right out of the Hudson Bay, bringing in that cooler and drier air mass. And again, on the leading edge of that, we do have a couple of showers still out there, mainly for northern New York around Essex County. Right now, Saranac Lake into Lake Placid, seeing a couple of heavier bursts of rain. Otherwise, that's about the only shower around other one other than the one out in Rutland, Whitehall and Granville at the moment. So all of this is diminishing. Cooler air moves in. We see the sunshine for tomorrow and the good news is we'll have bluer sky than we did today just because that hazy wildfire smoke moves off to the south. But that means southern Vermont, you probably still have to deal with the hazy uh, wildfire smoke well up in the atmosphere. And then it's warmer on Tuesday before a cold front arrives on Wednesday. Wednesday is a day of change with plummeting temperatures and more rain showers. That is the next chance of rain. And really, as of now, the only real significant one in the forecast other than Memorial Day weekend. But even that doesn't look like a washout, although a system could come close enough to give us some showers, at least a couple of the long weekend days. So as far as tonight goes, the clouds clear out and we're left with totally clear skies by Monday morning. Chilly temperatures, especially over Adirondack Park, where we fall into the 30s. Lower 40s for most of us here in the lower elevations. And tomorrow will be a little bit cooler, just a hair, than it was today across northern zones. Temperatures staying in the low to mid 60s, near 70 in the upper valley. But look at all the sun we've got. The clear skies continuing into Tuesday. It's another chilly start on Tuesday with 30s and 40s once again. But a better rebound as the flow turns more to the southwest. So plenty of sunshine once again on Tuesday. Maybe a few afternoon clouds. High temperatures in the lower to mid 70s for most of us could even see a few upper 70s if we get enough sunshine, which I think we will. Wednesday, there's your front coming in way up to the north. You see that band of rain north of the international border. But I think we start off with the sunshine Wednesday morning and highs once again will be uh, found early in the day before these temperatures just come crashing in the afternoon. Could be in the 40s by 1 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon here in northern Vermont while it is soaring into the 70s for the upper valley. It's just one of those situations where we have a very strong cold front bringing in that cold, sharply colder air mass from the north. So that front moves on to the east and then something interesting happens with that front. A little low pressure gets spawned. You see this area of spin up near Maine, Maritime Canada and look how slowly it's moving. It really is all dependent on how far west this area of swirl in the atmosphere comes to our region. Greatly has implications in how much rain we see. Some indications that it could stay just far enough south and east that we don't see any impacts at all into Memorial Day weekend. So certainly hoping for that outcome rather than the wetter outcome. We'll watch it closely over the next couple of days. Enjoy the sun and the warm up until Tuesday, upper 70s then, 70 on Wednesday before temps come plummeting. And then it's cooler to end the work week before we start to warm back into the 70s by Memorial Day weekend, watching that rain chance.